guys we are back with the next tutorial in this tutorial let's see about land resources and we'll be discussing about soil pollution and desertification these are the last three topics in this chapter so we will try to complete in this tutorial so basically what is land resource land is a fundamental resource for almost all human beings we live on the surface of the earth which is land so forest is covered by 26 percentage and cultivated land will be 12 Deserts and mountain is 30% and wetland is 3% and urban area is 3%. So I hope everyone got a small idea on what is land resource. So this is all up to land resource and whenever we are going through land means the, we are that means soil erosion we gonna we should get remember. So soil erosion it is also defined as the movement of soil components which is but the toppermost layer of soil moves from one place to another is soil pollution so it refers in the it refers in the loss of fertility because it is the top so top soil which is fertile i think around 2.5 centimeters is the most fertile land most fertile surface of the land so soil erosion is again furtherly divided into two types one is normal another one is accelerated Normal is a natural process which is really slowly occurring process and accelerated is nothing but it is due to man or human. This type of accelerated is very very faster when compared to normal. So I hope everyone is now clear with what is land resource and soil erosion and now let's see what is desertification. Desertification is nothing but it is the process whereby the productivity potential of arid and semi-arid area lands falls by 10% or more. Okay, I hope you got a small idea on desertification. If the desertification, if the desertification is more in between 10 to 25%, it is called moderate desertification, and it is 25 to 50, it is severe desertification, and if it is greater than 50. It is going to be very very severe desertification okay what are the causes of desertification the, it forms futurely as the desertification increases it slowly forms deserts the, it, it results in the formation of deserts may take place due to the natural phenomena by climatic changes or abundance use of land even the climate changes linked into many ways of human yeah it's basically due to even it may cause due to that increase in temperature or any other reason the productivity rate will be decreasing that's what desertification indicates it is majorly caused by the anthropogenic causes like mining and quarrying mining and quarrying are the same meaning guys the activities are also responsible for loss in vegetation over the loss in vegetation over over of the expensive land areas leading to desertification deserts are formed to occur in the arid and semi-arid areas of all the continents or countries during the last 50 years 90 million hectares of land has been undergone desertification so i hope everyone is clear with all the topics up to now which we have discussed thank you guys thanks for watching